Its roots are deep in India, the home from where it established and built a business that counts among its clients nine of the world's ten largest banks and seven out of the world's top ten insurance companies. But Polaris Financial Technology is a global company operating from locations including the United States, UK, Australia and Hong Kong with around a quarter of its business in Europe. Its mission to use its expertise and innovation to improve efficiency and reduce the complexity it identified within the industry it serves. Financial technology is a complex business. The banking business in the last few years has become more and more complex because of the globalization, because of the change in technology across the generation of technology and the kind of a product which is getting introduced into the marketplace. We just focused on one area called global complexity reduction by simplifying their processes, the technology which drives their value to the customers. The company provides what it describes as state-of-the-art solutions for core and corporate banking, wealth and asset management and insurance through a portfolio of products, smart legacy modernization services and consulting. Polaris FT focuses on ensuring that there is a higher customer adoption of the technology which is delivered and delivering business outcome in terms of higher transaction on the network or higher customer acquisition or lower operation cost. So all the three dimensions when we integrate it gives a significant outcome using the technology driven by the Polaris. Headquartered in Chennai, Polaris FT's origins can actually be traced back more than 25 years. Back then, Citibank wanted to install ATM machines in India. The core group of technology experts that would eventually form the business came together on that initial successful venture. Polaris was incorporated in 1993 and publicly traded on the Bombay Stock Exchange. Polaris uh, built over the period of time with a company with single motto, if we can dream it, we can do it. So we have a team of 30 people sometime in 93 aspiring to become a global player is uh, only with a spirit of uh, doing together, staying together, working together and solving the problem together enable this company to come to 12,000 people today and operating in 25 countries. Polaris has sought to differentiate itself from a general perception of huge Indian technology companies to which a lot of technology business is outsourced. While it does employ 12,000 staff, it's keen to emphasize its individual expertise and capability, even renaming the business to better explain its aims. On the advice of business advisors McKinsey, in 2002 it took over a subsidiary of Citibank, enabling it to own its own software. I think Polaris uh, as an organization has a very good culture in terms of allowing or permitting people to take risks and go into new areas. And that has been a significant uh, plus that I have observed over the last so many years. And we encourage them and we just don't allow them to, you know, uh, go there and fail. But we support them actively with the teams that are available here. And uh, I think the learning culture and this risk-taking culture is what has kept people with us for so long. These are challenging times for the financial services industry, yet with its revenue up by 25%, Polaris has bucked the economic downturn. It believes the 100 plus financial institutions with whom it does business appreciate that it performs well on projects, takes a cost effective approach and stands by them in good times and bad. A key member of its management team was once a client himself. I found Polaris to be a very high integrity firm. You know, they were always reliable. You know, they said what they could do. You know, and they were, when they couldn't, they were very straight up. So you could always trust them. They were very flexible. You know, they went out of their way to make sure that uh, you know our projects were successful, and that we as clients were successful. And I also found them very, very good in terms of domain knowledge and expertise of the insurance sector. 
Aware that a skilled workforce is key to its success going forward, Polaris has launched a financial technology teaching facility at Hyderabad in India to reduce and certify more than a thousand of what it calls techno bankers every year. You can find innovation, you can find uh, out of the box thinking, intelligent people. So all these things makes it a perfect place to work. We are like a big family here. There is celebration, there is appreciation, there is sharing, there is trust. There is there are a lot of laugh, there is a lot of laughter and plus a shoulder to cry on sometimes. My career path has been chalked out very well in this organization. So the future seems bright. With banks expected to modernize their legacy systems, Polaris is well positioned, it believes, to benefit from a market that is potentially worth hundreds of billions of dollars. A truly international company, proud of its Indian heritage, it is confident about the next chapter of the business. I would say there are three things in Polaris story. Dream big, commit to it, make investments, and believe in it. Go for it.